name's Arlene and this week we're going to be looking at the national five topic of median and semi-interquartile range. And median and semi-interquartile range is very similar to standard deviation where you're working out a kind of average and then you're working out how consistent all the values are in relation to the average. And basically with semi-interquartile range you're really dividing your set of numbers into four equal parts, into quarters, i.e. the term quartiles. So over here, so we have this six step guide here, and basically the first step asks us to ensure that the numbers are in order from lowest to highest. So all the examples that we've got does advise us, that does already have the numbers in order from lowest to highest. I'd also suggest that you get a screenshot of this and or copy it down. So ensure the numbers are in order from lowest to highest, the next part is to count how many numbers there are. The third step is to add one to this number. And the fourth step is to divide by two. So if we suppose we have nine numbers, if we add one to this number, we get 10. And then we divide by two, which gives me five. So you count this many numbers in to mark the quartile two. So you would be, mark, you would be counting into the fifth number and that's where your quartile two would, would lie. If the first number there, the, num the number of numbers was 8, you would add on 1, which gives you 9. And when you divide by 2, you would get 4.5. And what it says is if the number ends in 5, or 0.5, it's between two numbers. So 4.5 would be between 4 and 5. So this would allow you to get quartile 2, which is the median. And then you just repeat steps, these three steps there, th or four steps, to find Q1 and Q3. So we'll use an example to go through this with you. So in this example here, we're going to use these numbers here in order to work out this, the median and the semi interquartile range. So as per our step, our six step guide, we have them in order from lowest to highest, that's fine. We count how many numbers there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10. Then we were told to add one to this number. So 10 add one is 11. 10 add one is 11. And then we divide by two is 5.5. So this is the, we count this many numbers in and if it ends in 0.5, it's between two numbers. So it's between five and six. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and there's six. So this will lie here. So this bit here is quartile two. And then we just repeat it to get the first quartile. So we count how many numbers, there's one, two, three, four, five. We add one to that number, which is six, and then we divide by two, which is three. So one, two, three. And that there is quartile one. We then do it in the, the upper half there. So we count how many numbers there are. Well, we know that there's going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. We add one to get six. And then we half that, which is three. One, two, three. So that there is Q3. So we've got the key bits of information there. And then when we want to get our median, our median, as it tells us here, is just Q2. So our median is just halfway between 8 and 9, which is 8.5. So that would be the median. When we look at the other part there, our, to get our semi-interquartile range, we do Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 is 14 and Q1 is 7. So to get our semi-interquartile range, we do Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. So we do 14 minus 7 divided by 2. The top becomes 7 and 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So the median was 8.5 and the semi-interquartile range is 3.5. We're going to use another example. 
And we'll do the same with this example here. So we're obviously in order from lowest to highest. We're now going to count how many numbers there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to add one to that, which is nine, and then divide it by two, which is 4.5. So one, two, three, four, and it's in here. So that's Q2. And if you're not sure if you've got it right, make sure you've got the same number of numbers on each side. So as you can see here, we've got four on that side and four on that side. And then we do the same with this part here. So you really, you're just really getting the middle value. There's four numbers there. Four, add one is five, and divided by two is 2.5. So one, two, and we're right in here. And that one you probably could have done just by drawing a line in the middle without doing that. This Q3 is obviously just going to be there. And what makes this a little bit difficult is that the number is halfway between those numbers. And if you're not sure how to get halfway between those two numbers, you can just add them together and divide by two. So 22 add 27 is 49. And then when we half that, we get 24.5. So this value here is 24.5. Halfway between these two numbers, we've got 31 and 45 is 76. And then when you half that, you get 38. And this one number here is halfway between 46 and 50. So you can add them and half them. So when we add those together, we get 96. And when we half that, we get 48. And our median is Q2. So the median is this number here. And if we want to get our semi interquartile range, we need to do Q3 minus Q1. So 48 minus 24.5 divided by 2. I know that's quite difficult. So we're going to have 23.5 divided by 2, which is going to be 11.75. So that there would be our semi-interquartile semi -interquartil range. I'm going to do another example. So in our third example here, we'll just go through the same process. Everything's in order. We just need to count the number of numbers. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And what we do is we add one to that number. So we get 13. And then we half 13. So we divide 13 by 2 which is 6.5. So that's how many numbers we count in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's between two numbers because it's 0.5. So this is Q2. Then we do the same with the first half. So we count the number of numbers. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You add 1. So it's 7, and divide by 2 is 3.5. 1, 2, 3, and it's going to be in here. Obviously, again, that's quite an easy one, because you could probably know that to split six numbers, you could just half it where there's three. And it's going to be the same on this side here. That's going to be Q3. And again with this one, they're all kind of lying halfway between. So if we've got 13 and 14, halfway between 13 and 14 is just... 13.5. For Q2, halfway between 15 and 60, uh, 15 and 17 is 16. You can also add them together in half, and that will also get you the answer. And for Q3, we're between 20 and 21, which is 20.5. And our median, this is our median here. Q2 is our median. And to get our semi-interquartile range, we do Q3 minus Q1, and we divide it by 2. So we do 20.5 minus 13.5 over 2. And that gives me 7 divided by 2, which is 3.5. So 
So semi interquartile range is 3.5. The median was 16, the semi interquartile range is 3.5. I'll do one more example. So we're going to do the last one here. So we know that the numbers are in order, we're just going to count how many there are. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We add 1, we get 12, and then we half, which is 6. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is Q2. We then do the same with the first half. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Add 1 is 6. Half is 3. So 1, 2, 3. That's Q1. We do the same on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Add 1 is 6. Divided by 2 is 3. 1, 2, 3. That's Q3. So our value, what we said here is the median is, is Q2. So this is the median here, which is 12. Just say Q1 the value is just 9 and Q3 the value is just 15 and to get our semi interquartile range we do Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2 so we get 6 divided by 2 which is 3 so the semi interquartile range is 3 Now sometimes you won't necessarily, for some of these examples, you might not feel that you need to use this guide, but it's a good way to make sure that you've you split things up correctly. So please like, please subscribe, and please feel free to suggest any other maths videos that you'd like to see. See you next time.